hunger from the Fangoria Fright Fest. A lot of you guys have probably found this movie or have seen it, but um, again, I'm not going to gripe. I mean, I'll gripe occasionally if I have a crappy movie. I might, um, there is one movie that I probably will review in the future, which I don't know how many of you have seen it, but I, I pray to God none of you have seen it besides me, because there are scenes in that movie that I can't unsee, and I wish I could. Fine, I'll spoil it. Irreversible. That's coming. And yes, I've seen a Serbian film, but I don't own it. There's another. There's a couple scenes in that that I can't unsee. Newborn porn. Duh. Anywho, back to this. Um. Summary. <sighs> Five strangers awaken to find themselves trapped in an underground dungeon. They soon realize that they are subjects of one man's sadistic experiment to test the depth of a human being's will to survive. As days go by, with no means of escape, their hunger increases and their humanity fades away. And this is actually, judging by the subject matter, um, it's not that gory. I mean, because obviously, you know, if you're going like 30 days without food, I think it's like 32 days without food. I mean, they have water. But, um... But, yeah, I mean, eventually they resort to cannibalism. Duh. Obviously, right? But, um, but yeah, it it's pretty good, too. I mean, it is, it is creepy, because, like, the first, like, five, ten minutes of this movie, you are in complete darkness with these people, and they're, like, hyperventilating, you know, like, freaking out. And you actually do, um, you actually do bond with them in those first, you know, minutes of the film, you, you feel for these people, you're like, well, okay. Um, it turns out that, uh, the guy who, uh, put them in the dungeon, I wouldn't call it a dungeon, but, like, a well, like, a really big well or something. Um, it turns out that he was driven to cannibalism himself. He was in a car wreck. Yeah, spoilers. Um, he was in a car wreck with his mother, and... I think he he was down there for like I don't know like six days twenty days a long time and eventually he ate his mother his dead mother's arm to survive and the police found him and they were like you know oh my god you know that's how he survived he ate his mother's arm oh my god and so like ever since then you know he's like been obsessed with like Food, like how people can survive without food. So he captures these people and he's like watching them on cameras, you know, watching them deteriorate mentally. Um, and uh, it, yeah, I mean, eventually they are driven to cannibalism. Um, and uh, it, they they really don't show anything really. I mean, that's the first guy's like killed off screen. I mean, you see the aftermath, you know, people going nom, nom, nom. And, uh, you know, and they're all bloody around the mouth, and they're like, eh. And then, yeah, eventually they just all go, like, batshit crazy. Um, and, uh, the one girl survives, well, actually, after she finds where the dude who imprisoned them is, she, like, kills him. And the coolest thing I thought was after uh, she killed that dude, um, she had the strength, after not eating for 32 days, to climb a ladder, get out of the hole, and get help. Like, you go, girl. I mean, because you know how weak you'd be, but she's just like, eh, eh. And I'm like, I'm rooting for her, you know. I'm like, oh my god, you were so badass in this movie. You were the only one who did not resort to eating people. You were the only one who had the willpower to, you know, say, no, I'm not going to do it. So, yeah, it, she, uh, she was actually, she was a, Again, all of the actors were phenomenal. They were they were good. Like I said, they made you care for these characters. Um, the lead actress, I gotta look up her name. Um, blah blah blah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to pronounce. I'm probably gonna butcher her last name. But Lori Her Hering Hering H E U R I R-I-N-G. 
Um, it's also got Wendy Ashby in it, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the rest of these people, I don't know who they are. But um, I also have another one of the Sangoria Frank Fest films. It's called uh, Fragile. It has um, Calista Flockhart in it, which she's really good in that. Um, a lot of these films were good. I mean, yeah. But <laughs> I babble when I do these because I'm trying to think at the same time. Like I said, they will get better. I'm just not used to doing this stuff yet. I'm used to eating and drinking gross things. That doesn't take a lot of talking or thinking. That's <laughs> um, Yeah. Like, all three of those films that I just talked about, uh, I would highly, if you can find them, if, they, if they're not too expensive, but I would, I would recommend every single one of them. And like I said, eventually I'll get to the point where, okay, you know, F these movies. <laughs> I'm going to do the bad ones in my collection. In fact, I might do them right now. I just got to go get them. I don't know if I'm going to upload these all on the same day. I might, but, so, yeah, that's it for this one.